how was your Dreamforce experience? What a whirlwind. Let me give you a pre-warning and a preemptive sort of conversation before you head over there. But let me tell you, it is a full on three day experience and you really need a week off afterwards just to recover from it. But what a great networking opportunity and educational opportunity that was. Any tips for first timers at Dreamforce? Wear comfortable shoes. Don't overcommit. When you build your agenda for the three days, try not to fit too much into one day because you don't quite understand until you get there how big this thing really is and how distanced a lot of the sessions are and how long it'll take you to get between them. And the keynotes especially, if you're wanting to attend any of the keynote or guest speakers, make sure you get there early, probably 60 to 90 minutes worth of queuing for those ones, but plan your time effectively. And don't be scared to network. Meet people, talk to people. I've got three pages worth of new contacts from my time over at Dreamforce. And a lot of them I'm still regularly in touch with as well on a number of projects. So really good networking experience and take a lot away. Bring stuff back with you. Bring stuff that you know your organization will benefit from. What were your key takeaways from Dreamforce? The first one was back up your system. We've been very big on backing up our data here at Norse Collective but I never really looked at system backup and our actual Salesforce instance that we've invested a lot of resources, money and time into building. So it's really important to have a plan of attack to back up your actual Salesforce environment and ecosystem because it took a lot of effort to build that out. So that was the first thing I brought back and we've, since then we've actually implemented a backup of our Salesforce system, which has been great. Another takeaway I had was this, around the sustainability piece. It was such a hot topic this year's Dreamforce. So I think it's something that organizations really need to be focused on. It's a global topic, not just a local topic. And I think organizations need to be on the front foot with that one. Personalization from the marketing landscape, personalization was another really hot topic and everybody's mouth over there. I presented two sessions on personalization over at Dreamforce this year. And it's just so important that companies have a strong sort of first party data led personalization strategy. So it was great to come back knowing that's the journey we're on. 